Today's video is part two of this epic haul that I did. If that sounds interesting to you, just stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I go by Miss A Web on all platforms. I will link them down below. I'm a reseller on Poshmark and eBay and on this channel you'll find everything dealing with reselling from what sold to hauls to tips and tricks as well as some unboxings. You'll also see my dog Teddy who just now ran off but she is in and out of my videos typically. If all that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can come back and see more of my videos. Today's video is part two of my thrift haul. Um, it is a collection haul of several trips to a thrift store over a span of two weeks. I already did part one, which was accessories, bags, um, shoes and decor pieces. I will link that above. There's some really good stuff in there. So today's haul is going to be clothing. So I'm going to show you all the clothing I purchased within a two week period. So as I mentioned in the last haul, um, part of this was a trip to a local designer consignment shop. I showed you the Hermes scarf that I got as well as the purse and a pair of shoes. Um, so I'm going to show you the clothing items that I picked up. Not as interesting as the Hermes scarf, but I still think some pretty good pieces. First is this dress. It is by the brand Decidual or Decidual or however you want to pronounce it. This is a tunic dress with just their um, standard like colorful funky print on the front. Um, I have found this brand twice, I think, um, and done pretty well with it. This is a size 42. Um, I can see why I wouldn't do well at a consignment store here. Um, I live in Savannah, Georgia, and I just don't see, you know, a lot of old school Southern ladies wearing this kind of designer, but I will pick that up. Um, next piece from that store um, was this HD in Paris top. Um, HD in Paris is a anthropology brand or sold at anthropology. Um, and it is a size small. I don't pick up all anthropology anymore, particularly if it's not anything, you know, substantial or interesting, but I just thought this top was really cute with the floral. Um, and I think it can still go over into fall, even though it is a floral because of the length of the sleeve and it's not as bright as other pieces. I don't know. I liked it though, so I picked it up. Next is a brand I've never picked up before at the thrift store because I know they sell it at um, TJ Maxx and like Ross and all that. Um, but I did pick it up there because it was new with tags. It is philosophy. Um, so I did pick it up. I picked it up for a couple reasons. First, new tags, yes. Um, retail for $98. Number two, it's a 3X, so plus size. And then also, it was just cute. It had a really cute little embroidery on it. And then these nice um, bell sleeves. So I thought I had a lot going for it. And I picked it up because it was the right price. Okay, next is another anthropology um, piece. It is by the brand Tiny. It is also new with tags. Um, retail for $158. It is a medium and it is a jumpsuit. Yes, long jumpsuit, kind of hard to see. It's got this beading here in the front. Um, also a piece I think can still do well going into fall because it's, you know, it's like a darker color and, um, you know, longer pant. But yeah, so I picked this up. Okay, one last piece um, from that day was this um, Lulu's dress. Um, it's a size large and it is just a neutral colored like beige um, long dress that you know kind of looks good like it'd be good for a wedding or a bridesmaid kind of thing. Maybe not the smartest thing to pick up during this time since a lot of weddings and things have gotten canceled but it was a really good price and had the tags and a size large so I picked it up. Okay, moving on, everything left is from the Goodwill, several trips, but first, as I mentioned in that last haul, I went to that Goodwill that had all those like interesting 70s things, um, and I did pick up some vintage items on that trip, and two of them were are these two um, Victoria's Secret vintage um, sleepwear items. This is like a little teddy top, um, and I can tell it's Victoria's Secret because it has the gold tag 
Um, it's size medium, by the way. The gold tag, Victoria's Secret does well on Poshmark or has for me. So I like to pick it up if it's in good condition and, you know, cute. Um, next, I really liked this one. Again, gold tag, size medium, and it is a sleep shirt. But I just really liked the print. It's really cute. Um, and it does have, does this have embroidery on it, I thought? Yeah, so the, the the pocket has a Victoria's Secret embroidery, which I thought was really nice. And it's a very, it feels really good. It doesn't feel like silk. Um, I mean, it is polyester, but it's like a, a nice feeling polyester. Next is a piece I'm not sure I should have picked up, but it's hard to turn this brand down in whatever form. And that is Patagonia. Um, it's a size large and it is just um, a cotton dress with these stripes on it good for like casual um, outdoorsy stuff maybe. I'm actually never found their like better sweaters out in the wild. Um, I have sold a couple but that's because they were um, given to me um, by my younger sister to sell. So I have sold a few but I've never found one. I keep my eye open though. Next is a brand that is very popular here in the South and it is um, Simply Southern. And it is just a hot pink, or well, not really hot pink, bubblegum pink um, pullover or popover as people say. Um, and yeah, this this brand does really well for me. And these more kind, these kinds of pieces and in their graphic shirts, um, if they're cute. And I don't know if I said this, but it's a size medium. Um, I'm not giving you the prices that I'm going to list these items for because I'm not sure how helpful that is. If you want to see what I list, I list these items or similar items for, just go check out my Poshmark closet. It is, li is linked down below. What's really important is what I sell these items for. So if you want to see what I am actually selling items for, go ahead and check out my What Sold videos. I will link a playlist above. So here's a brand I hadn't seen in a while, um, and that is Lulu Lemon. Um, found this pair of leggings. I don't find Lululemon all the time. It has a different color leg. Um, it's just not like common around here, even though we do have a Lululemon store downtown. Um, but you know, it's fun to find. And um, this is a size 10. Um, your size dot will be in the pocket or in like a little pocket sleeve here at the waist. Or now some of them have the like stripes in it. There's different ways to tell the size if you have never picked up little lemon. Also, it is good to have the name of the item in your listing when you're selling Lululemon. Um, and there is a website for that if you haven't heard of it, lulufanatics.com. Now, even with that website, I am terrible <laughs> at identifying Lululemon pieces because I don't own them. I don't wear them. Um, I own one pair of black leggings and that is because my little sister <laughs> gave them to me. Um, and I wear those cause they were too like, had too much peeling to sell. Those are my only pieces. So after being on that side for an hour, I finally just decided to call her up. Um, I FaceTimed her, showed her the leggings and she thinks that these are um, the run swiftly leggings. Although I haven't been able to find this exact pattern. Um, so I'm pretty sure she said based on the inside drawstring in the back having a pocket. So there you go. Okay, next is was a vintage item that I'm not sure I should have picked up, but I did. Um, it's a vintage blazer and it has the faux fur trim at the collar. And then again here at the pockets, um, it is a hound's tooth. Ooh, is that a spot? No, it's a piece of lint. Um, it is a hound's tooth print. I picked it up because of the hound's tooth, the animal print. Um, it is 100% wool. So, you know, I picked it up. We'll see how it does. It is very cute. You know, I wouldn't have hesitated to pick this up. It's just that, you know, with everything going on, a lot of people aren't going into the office anymore. I might not need these pieces, but you know, if you do a lot of Zoom calls, you do dress up your front, front half, your top half <laughs> for Zoom calls. So, so maybe that'll still work. Um, next is a brand I've never heard of, but I had heard of where it was sold at and that is Stitch Fix. Um, it is a Stitch Fix brand, which, you know, is a monthly subscription service. Um, this brand is fun to fun, which I'd never found before. And it is just a floral printed blouse. It is a size medium. Um, it is the fun to fun, Maylie pleated detailed top. 
So I actually find a lot of new tag stitch fix. Um, I guess there's just a lot of people who order and don't return their items. Um, so yeah, so I pick up Stitch Fix brands if they're new with tag. Um, don't pick them up normally if they don't have the tag. Okay, next is just a crew neck um, sweatshirt. It is, it says Daytona Beach on it. I don't, I know it's made to like look vintage and even the tag kind of looks vintage. But I don't think it is vintage. <laughs> um, just because, I don't know. You just don't. There's something about it that to me, just based on the condition, let's just say that, um, it doesn't seem vintage to me. Like it's, I think it was made to look vintage. Um, but I picked it up anyway, just because I liked the, um, graphic and, you know, sweatshirt. So that's cool. Um, and picked it up. Um, so next I picked up was this Tommy Hilfiger. Um, and this is Tommy Hilfiger Sport, which is one of their lines. And it is just, um, a crop sweatshirt. Um, normally I only pick up Tommy Hilfiger if it's plus size and new with tags or it's vintage or, and, or it has like the logo, you know, this size on it. Um, and I did pick this up. This is not vintage. It is a uh, modern and it's a size medium, but I still think it'll do pretty decently on Poshmark. Next is this anthropology brand, Carton Cartonier. I can't say that correctly, but here's the tag anyway. Um, it is a size large and it is just a ruffled cardigan. Um, might not have picked this up if it hadn't have been a size large, um, but yeah, I did. And if you don't know already, the RN number for Anthropology Free People and Urban Outfitters is 66170. So if you're just starting out, I know it's very daunting to know all the Anthropology brands, but that's the easiest way to check. Now I will say not every Anthropology piece is gonna have this brand. There are designers who collab with Anthropology and that's not the um, RN number that they use, but you just really have to Google research and then, you know, time will teach you you know, what is an anthropology brand? And you'll even get in your head when you see a tag, like that looks like an anthropology tag. Um, yeah, it's just something that comes with practice. <laughs> the next piece is a vintage piece. I've never picked up this brand before. I see it all the time, but I've never picked it up. Um, like I said, I don't ever like to say I never will pick up a brand because look, here you go. Here's a brand that I've never picked up and probably would have said like a year ago, I never would pick up and I'm picking it up. So, there's always exceptions to every, I'd never pick this brand up based on size, style, new tag, anything like that. This brand is something I think a lot of people find at the thrift store and pass up, but it's vintage and it is Alfred Dunner. Um, this is an extra large, another thing going for it, vintage. And I just really like this sweater. Look at this pattern. Look at this. It's like a, it's like a block with the florals and the polka dots, but the polka dots kind of look like they look like bugs in my opinion. Um, and then the stripes. Oh, what, who does this look like? Oh, what does this remind me of? What's the villain? Uh, hate, not Haley. Joker's girlfriend. Just came out with a movie. Bird of Prey. Your name is. Harley. Got it. All right. Anyway. Here you go. It looks kind of like what she wore, but you know. Anyway, I really liked it. Um, I think it might be wool, or I would keep it for myself, to be honest. I am really allergic to wool. It makes me itch. I mean, like, it makes me want to peel my skin off. So <laughs> that's pretty. Oh, it's acrylic, actually. Mm. I'm gonna try it on. We'll see. But most likely, we'll sell it. Maybe I'll just give up one of the ones I already have. I have a lot of the chunky or like vintage sweaters because I really like them. And I have quite, I like, and like I said, I have a ton, which I really shouldn't because I live in South Georgia. It doesn't get that cold here. <laughs> and when it does get cold, it doesn't last very long. I'm also really hot natured. I don't know why, but I just, I love sweaters. I love oversized sweaters. I used to live in Philadelphia and then briefly in New York where all this stuff was more useful, but anyway, tangent. Okay, 
Next, I got these two pieces from the same brand, same size, so I'm assuming they're by the same person. Um, and it is just a knit sweater. Is that a pool? No, it's just a piece of line. Um, and it is a cow neck, and it is by the brand, pull it up. It is by 89th and Madison which I think might be sold at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack or something like that. Um, not a brand I always pick up, but this was plus size. It is a 1X, um, cute for the season coming up. I did pick that up. And then there was another one next to it, um, and it is another um, sweater, um, cow neck, with this color blocking and the neutral colors. And I think, again, a 1X. Yes, in a 1X, that was the back, but looks the same. Um, so I did pick both of those items up. Again, it's always good to have cute plus size items in your closet. All right, this is another chunky knit sweater, um, but this one is not vintage. It's actually J. Crew um, size large. I'm not really sure if this is a men's or women's sweater. It might be a men's because it's kind of larger for a large, a woman's large. J. Crew normally has when it was sold on their care tag. This one was spring 2016, which so it's not that, you know, recent. But, you know, I feel like this style is still in and I can wear it if it doesn't sell. <laughs> that also is a factor in deciding whether or not to purchase something. Whether or not I like it, it could wear it if it doesn't sell. All right, next is another vintage piece. It is Spencer. Alexis, um, and it's their petite, small petite, and I just picked it up. It is the silk cardigan. Um, it is like at a floral silk, and then it has this lace, um, and it has the like toggle closure with like a little knot right there. Um, so, you know, I picked this up because I give me, it gives me total Johnny Was vibes with just the pattern. Um, I know Johnny Was is more like slouchy and oversized, but I did pick it up and it looks like it does pretty well. So I'm glad I picked it up. Speaking of vintage. Okay. So I didn't, did I button this up? I did button this up. I did go through all these items before the haul and I tried to button them up, but this is a Joey rich piece. But look at this, look at this print. Look at this. <laughs> and it is 100% silk. Um, it's size XXL, 100% silk. Um, and it gave me total 70s vibes. And I know um, people are saying that one of the styles coming back is the 70s, in particular 70s glam. And I'm just like, I feel like this is what this is. I mean, we just need, I mean, can't you picture like a dude with like, you know, big hair, mustache, open buttons, chain, and flared leg, I mean, flared pants? Come on. This could have been on Saturday Night Live. But anyway, Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> so picked up that piece. We'll see how it does. All right, next is a pair of leggings. They are by Kalia, um, which is Carrie Underwood's workout brand. I'm actually surprised I ended up picking these up. Kalia does pretty well for me. Um, it is just that it doesn't have the size. Um, I really... I. I don't like picking up items that don't have a size, and I particularly don't like picking up athletic clothing that doesn't have a size. Um, but I did pick these up, so I don't know. I think they, they look like a medium to me, but I'll have to measure. I'll have to measure and put it in the listing and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, okay, so it does have a zip pocket here in the front and cute print, so. We'll see how that does. So Kalia has like, Kalia has a plastic tag um, in their um, leggings. I wish I had one around, um, you know, and Fabletics has the tear tag. Um, why don't they do what Lululemon does and put a size dot or some lines or print it on the, the cloth? Come on guys, like help us out. <laughs> I'm sure they're not thinking about resell when they produce these items, but it would be helpful. <laughs> Speaking of leggings, um, this is a pair of J. Jill leggings. J. Jill's another brand that there's a lot of factors that go into deciding whether or not I pick up a piece. 
Um, the decision in this was, it is a 1X, so plus size. Um, and they look in very good condition and they have a side pocket. If you don't own leggings with pockets, like where you can put your phone down, you are messing out. Like that is game changer. Like I will never buy a pair of leggings that doesn't have that feature now. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I did pick these up. Teddy is now back in the room. You can't see her, but if you hear noises or movement, that is my dog, Teddy. Okay, next is a brand I had never heard of, um, but I looked it up and it is sold at Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's and you know, all those higher end department stores and it is called Commando. So this is kind of like a shapewear, um, you know, loungewear line that retails very high. Um, and Um, and it seems to do pretty decently. Um, it really depends on the item that is buzz, right? Or no, it's like a little tag thing. Um, but I think a lot of times this stuff ends up in the um, pajamas and, you know, um, intimate section, which usually has a cheaper price. Mine's like a dollar. So I'll definitely pick this up for a dollar when I'm pretty sure it can resell for around 25, 30. But yeah, it feels very nice. <laughs> So one of the stores I went to was just putting out all their jackets um, and you know, just winter wear. This was like a quick trip, so I didn't get to go through all the items, but I did pick up a few of the pieces I did go through and that were priced correctly. I wrote about this um, in my Instagram, which will be linked down below, but I'll put the picture here, is that, you know, there is like a thing going around, which I've never had this experience, but a lot of resellers are talking about it, and it seems to be like exclusive to TikTok, which I'm not on, um, but people are having, especially younger people, are having an issue with resellers saying that we're stealing from the poor by shopping at Goodwill. Um, so Goodwill, as I'm sure everyone watching this video knows, is not for the, like this store, the retail stores are not about, you know, benefiting people who live in poverty or low income families. Yes, things are priced low, but that's because it's secondhand and they're trying to tempt people to raise money. So the money that they earn from the store, the retail store, is what they then take and then give back to the community and benefit low-income individuals. So especially Goodwill is very job-seeking, resume-building, training kind of program. That's um, a lot of their model. So the retail store, while does have the extra benefit of being like lower priced items where people can go shop for families that don't have a lot of um, disposable income. That's not their specific purpose. And if you want to, you, you know, a uh, solid proof that it's not, most if not all of the winter items that were being placed on the floor as I came in were very much priced up, like very highly priced up. Jackets normally are six dollars at most and I saw like vintage in bad shape butt leather, sixty dollars at Goodwill. So no, <laughs> if it were for low income individuals, they wouldn't price up uh, desirable items like that. Like, I think that's a very big proof. Like the jackets had been doubled, tripled, um, anywhere. I mean, I think the, the lowest was, was 10, but you know, like it went all up to 60, a lot of them being 15 or 20. Like you would, if you were for low income individuals, you wouldn't price up jackets when the cold season is coming. That sounds wrong. <laughs> Instead, that is, they price up because that's a desirable item and they want people to purchase it so they can then take those funds and benefit low income individuals, which is fine. I, you know, I'm not, not like I said in the post, not knocking Goodwill for pricing things, they can price things how they want. But that is just to me, very solid proof that these, um, that their retail store is not for low income families specifically. And then anybody who's like, oh, well, yeah, but you pay this and you're pricing it up so high. That's just like, you know, stealing. It's like, welcome to capitalism, guys. This is what America is. Like all the items that you buy, do you know how much they cost to actually produce? Like 
pennies on a dollar. Like it's ridiculous. You know why you're getting charged that? Because of the label they slapped on it. So what's the difference guys? <laughs> All this to say, here's one of the outerwear pieces I did get. Um, and it is a, not a jacket, it's a cape. It's gonna be really hard to show this. Um, and it's got this faux fur and faux fur sleeves. Um, it is soft surroundings, Oop. soft surroundings. Um, it is one size. Um, I've already looked this up. It's one size, but they do say it fits extra small to 16, I think, maybe 18. Um, so not really one size. One size fits these sizes. <laughs> um, the collar actually is detachable. It has buttons. So you can take the collar off. Um, this retailed for a lot of money, like $140. Um, I'll try to insert a stock photo so you can see. But yeah, I was happy to pick this up. I do pick up soft surroundings um, depending on the piece and the size. Weirdly enough, this next um, jacket at that same store um, was one of the cheaper jackets um, in price-wise, but it was still priced up, but not as high as the others. I think it was like $9, but is this leather. <laughs> it's this vintage leather jacket with fringe and it's cropped. I mean, I mean, it's not like it wasn't priced up that high because it's vintage. They had a lot of vintage pieces that were dropped like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. I don't know how this one escaped, but pretty cool. Um, it is by Comint. C-O-M-I-N-T, um, made in Argentina. It's a size medium. You know, I had to pick it up. I mean, how do, you, how do you not pick this up? How do you not? I don't know. Oh my God, it goes all the way down. I didn't even realize. Right down. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is kind of like glam, you know? So excited to pick this piece up. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so I have more outerwear, but I'll move on for a little bit. Um, next is this this um, denim button-up jacket. It's by NDS. It is a vintage item, extra large. I picked it up because I picked it up because of the embroidery. I am a sucker for these embroidered pieces. I did like the red buttons too. Um, I do think it do well. So not a vintage brand <laughs> um, is Vince. Um, I picked up this Vince shirt, just a collarless button down, and it is a size small, um, and it's 100% silk. I don't, I do pick up a lot of Vince. Um, I definitely don't pick up the, the theory pieces um, that I find, or not all of them, um, but I do like to pick up in good shape Vince pieces. They tend to do pretty well for me. So staying on the silk train, but back to vintage, is this vintage top. It's called Victoria. Um, it is 100% silk and it is a six petite, but I picked it up because again, 100% silk and it has this awesome snake print. Um, yeah, so I just thought I had a lot going for it. I liked it. Even if you don't sell vintage or don't like to sell vintage, um, I'm pretty sure you would pick this piece up because j just wait for it. Okay, so this is actually a brand, again, a brand I rarely um, ever pick up and I see it a lot. And it is Liz Sport, um, which is a part of Liz Claiborne, it's size eight. Um, but it is this pink seersucker romper. <laughs> like, has pockets, it's buttoned this seersucker pink. I mean, this is probably not going to sell right now. Um, but I mean, I don't know how you turn this down. How you turn this down? How you turn this down? Like there was like no way I was leaving this behind. Um, it's a acetate and rayon blend made in Guatemala. Oh, and did I forget to mention it has a belt, <laughs> matching belt. You don't have to wear it with the belt, but I, I mean, I definitely did pick up the belt to go along with it. Um, but yeah, matching belt <laughs> to go with your, um, rayon acetate blend romper. Like if there was any way, if there was any way that I could possibly fit into this, I would keep it, but it's a size vintage eight, which means it might be like a six. Um, yeah. And I don't know the last time I was a six. Uh, yeah. 
It's just, I really love this, <laughs> this romper so much. Um, yeah, so I was really excited about this um, romper. Um, this next piece is um, kind of like one of my Old Faithful bread and butter brands that don't seem to do well for everybody, but does really well for me. And that is Harley Davidson. Um, so Harley Davidson, this is one W, so one X. 98% um, cotton, 2% spandex. Um, and it is just this plum purple button. It's plum purple button down, but more to the point, it has this embroidery here on the back. Now, okay, I pick up a lot of Harley Davidson when I find it. I haven't found a lot lately. This has not been the first piece in a while, but specifically, Harley Davidson is like, you know, rock revival and miss me. The better the bling, the better the embroidery, the, you know, I'm not, I don't want to say gaudy, but like, yeah, <laughs> it is. The better it's going to do. Um, the exception being the t-shirts, the graphic t-shirts, um, those also do really well. Point being, with Harley Davidson, more is better. Um, okay, next was another vintage piece. Um, this is a fully beaded um, gown, 100% silk, size small, by the brand Scala, which I've sold before. Um, but it is so 90s, it's ridiculous. Look how 90s. Look at this neck line and Oh my God, can you not picture, oh God, I don't even remember her name, but she was so 90s, but I mean, I can just picture if I could wear this, picturing myself wearing this um, under the starlight, dancing with Freddie Prince Jr. with Kiss Me in the background. Can anybody else hear that? I can. That's what this, this, this is this. That is this. Kiss me. Oh my God, did y'all not love that song back in the day? I don't remember all the words, <laughs> uh, but oh lord, I love that song. Speaking of which, I'm thinking of um, posting on Depop. Um, I like I said, I do like selling vintage, um, and I feel like that's another um, marketplace for vintage items. Um, but it intim not intimidates me. It looks too cool for me. Like the photo, like if you go over there, the photography is way different. I you know Poshmark, eBay, you know, the white background, just picture it there. It's all like outside, graffiti in the background, styled, mostly modeled. Um, uh, that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but Teddy just like leaped like it was, um, you know, a horse doing a jumps crazy. But anyway, um, thinking of doing Depop, probably will try it out just to see where it goes. I did just watch, um, Alicia from Married Life's video. I guess she just started Depop and spent a month on it and made a video of her like five tips. So it made it less intimidating. And I did join a Facebook group for Depop sellers, um, that she, rec oh, that she recommended doing. So I'm probably going to post it on there. I just haven't yet. Um, next is another J. Jill piece. Again, you know, a lot of factors went into me picking it up. One, it is cute with these little button details. Two, new with tags. Three, it is 1X, so plus size. So yes, that went into it. This retailed for $79. All right, we're reaching the end, guys. I think we have like five pieces left. Um, next, is, next is a vintage denim jacket with this um, Sherpa interior. The brand is what is it called? Maverick Ranch. Um, and it's Maverick Ranch Coat. It's a size large. Um, um, I did see a lot of these listed on like eBay um, and they did really well, anywhere from like 70 to $100. So even though this was priced up a little, I think it was 12 bucks, I definitely did pick it up. Oh, I just realized it has a little bit of staying, but I think if I washed it, it'll be fine. All right, last vintage item. It is another coat. This is a denim jacket by Stefano, or Stefano, if you watch Vampire Diaries. Um, uh, Stefano International. It is a size 1820, and it is a denim jacket, but I also picked it up because it has like a tie-dye effect to it. So, but this would do pretty well in this day and age of the tie-dye craze. 
and this wasn't priced up that much. I think it was 10 bucks, so that's good. Last three pieces. Um, this is a Joseph Rifkoff blazer or cardigan, and it just has this polka dotted striped print. Joseph Rifkoff is a designer that retails for a lot of money and can resell for a lot of money. Not sure about this specific piece yet, but it is a size. Okay, if you hear a toy, it's gonna be Teddy. It's a size eight, um, and I will be putting this up. Next is another jacket. It wasn't the same day. This piece was not priced up. It was at a different thrift store. Um, it's a brand I've never heard of. Um, it's a brand I've never heard of. Um, it's called Joy Rich, size medium. Um, it seems to be like a streetwear um, collab type um, brand. This is just a um, this is just kind of like a utility park um, jacket with all these patches on it and they are made to look like, you know, like, like made to look like NFL, but that's not. Um, it says Joy and has a bear. Um, here's a little rose. Here's another bear. Um, I did, I looked it up because this is just interesting to me. Um, but these coats and their stuff retails for a lot of money and can resell for a lot of money. Um, they do a lot of interesting collabs too. Like they recently did a Playboy collab and they are now doing a Tweety Bird, like a Tom, not Tweety Bird, the Tweety Bird. And they are right now doing a Tom and Jerry collection. Um, so those pieces do really well too, but this jacket seemed to do well. It might have been, <clears throat> it does seem like a hit or miss kind of, does seem like a hit or miss um, brand, but I thought I would take a shot um, and see how it does. I like trying out new things. She's trying to get this toy. Um, it's a tequila <laughs> toy. Um, yeah, anyway. All right, last piece. So I saw the first part of this label first and got super excited. Um, Alexander Wang, which I've never found before. And then I kind of saw this other part that says with H&M. So it's a collab between um, Alexander Wang and H&M. So I wasn't even gonna, you know, do anything about it. And then I just remembered like a reseller telling me that some of their collab pieces do really well. I looked it up. Apparently this was very um, desirable collab when it came out and a lot of, you know, famous people and movie stars wore it. Um, so this, I mean, it's not gonna go for hundreds of dollars, but it should do pretty well, hopefully. <clears throat> maybe $40, which, you know, I'll pick up, you know, a J. Crew piece that'll go for that much. So why not an H&M collab? Um, I did notice that everybody had their like pieces listed under Alexander Wang and not H&M, but that's okay. So anyway, I'm excited to pick this up. Pretty cool. So that is my clothing haul. I'm hoping I'm able to edit, edit this video down because right now it's at 52 minutes. So Hopefully I just yammered a lot that I can cut out. I do edit out all the, a lot of the times where there's just like a 60, where there's just like a 40 second gap of me staring off into space because I can't remember what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh Lord, age. But that is my video and it is the entire haul from these trips. Why are you being mean? You're a mean little puppy. Mean little pupper. Mean pupper. Hey, Teddy, no biting, no biting, no biting, no. Okay, now she's gonna sleep in my lap like she's being, see, she's being sweet off camera. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Um, go ahead and subscribe so you can see more of my reselling content. And if you're interested in anything, you can check out my eBay and Poshmark to see if it's listed. If it's not, you can um, email me. My email will be linked down below. Um, and we'll, you know, and I'll either list it or we can do it through PayPal, whatever works best for you. Uh, what is your problem? No, Teddy, no. Um, if you want to see more of Teddy, um, she is the prime subject of my Instagram, which will be linked down below. So I do do, I do put reselling stuff on there, but this is the star of my Instagram. Look at this little, look at this monster. Um, so if you want to see more, oh, 
you want to see more of her, go follow me there. Um, but that's it for me today, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.